Election day was a little different this year for the Mansons. We were bringing him and getting him ready and he was fussing, so I forgot my wallet and the chaos of it. But it wasn't just because they'd moved to their new hometown of Limerick. I brought a photo ID. We just moved here. Things are everywhere. Catherine and McLean started recording their encounter with an election clerk who they claim tried to keep McLean from registering. The lady who worked there was aggressive and not very nice and uh, she was saying uh, we weren't allowed to vote. And Exercising our right to vote when you were turning us away and we knew the you were right. Persisted. They say the clerk called someone with the state but she was instructed to allow McLean to register and cast his vote. We thought it was ridiculous we couldn't exercise our right to vote. They were trying to kick us out. We, we need to challenge the ballot. Because we, it has we were being rude, honestly. Concerned with making sure that McLean was who he says he was. And now his vote is part of a contested ballot process. You show up at five minutes of eight on election night, you're not registered to vote, and you want to participate in the process, you can. Secretary of State Matt Dunlap didn't comment on this particular case, but outlined the rights that every voter has. While a photo ID or proof of residence is needed to confirm registration, you still can't be turned away. So in the meantime, the ballot's been cast, it's been counted. Uh, it only comes up as a question if the race is in dispute. The Mansons just glad they knew their rights. And we were wondering how many people were turned away for something like that. The Mansons say they don't want the clerk fired or punished, but they do plan on reaching out to the town and their state representative to let them know of their experience. In Limerick, Joe Glauber, WMTW News 8.